In the previous uh, tutorial video, we talked a little bit about the principles of object-oriented programming and how it revolves around things that are called classes and objects. So in this video tutorial, we're going to be seeing precisely what an object is. So a Java object, or an object in Java, is a software bundle of variables and related methods. So if we consider the real world, we can find many objects around us cars, dogs, bikes, humans, etc. Now all of these objects have something that is called a state and a behavior. So if we take the example of the dog, the state of the dog would be its name, its breed, its color, and its behavior would be, um, I don't know, barking, wagging, running, eating. So if you compare the software object with a real world object, you'll find that they have very um, similar characteristics. So software objects also have a state and behavior. A software object state is stored in something that is called a field and its behavior is shown via methods. So in software development, methods operate on the internal state of an object and the object to object communication is done via the methods. So, to sum up, that's what an object is in Java. Uh, in the next video, we're going to see what its counterpart is, so uh, what a class is. So, be sure to um, tune in to the next video. So, now that we've understood the theory behind a Java object, let's try and create one in Eclipse. So, as mentioned previously, uh, objects are created from a class. So don't worry, we'll explain precisely what a class is in the next video, but for now just know that these are classes. Dog is a class and Tutorius is a class. This is our main class here. So in the dog class, uh, which is what we're going to be using uh, to create our object, or to declare our object, should I say, um, there are three steps when creating an object from a class. So the declaration which is basically where you're declaring a variable with a variable name with an object type. So let's do that now. So let's create our object uh, dog, which has uh, one field, one variable, which is its name. <coughs> and then print out this line. Uh, dog's name is plus the, ver <coughs> the variable name, excuse me. So this is what is known as a um, constructor. Again, we'll be seeing exactly what constructor is in, I think, in two videos time. Um, so this is the first step of creating an object, uh, the declaration step. So now we're going to move on to the second step which is also known as a instantiation. So let's go to our main class here, like so. And in that main class, we're going to type um, the following. So dog, dog1 equals new uh, dog, and then uh, let's name it Wilma, for example. So let me explain what we've done here. So, in this second step of creating an object, which is known as instantiation, the new keyword here, which you can see here, is used to create the object. So that's the second step. The third and final step is initialization. Now, what the new keyword um, sorry, the new keyword is followed by a call to a constructor, which I showed you um, in the other class here. So this call initializes the new object. So what we've basically done is in this code here, we've asked it to um, create a new object dog using the constructor here. And because our constructor has a field or variable name, we've entered the variable 
uh, or the value of that field here, so Wilbur. So if we run, if we run, sorry, um, this program now, we will get back that the dog's name is Wilbur. So that's how you uh, create uh, an object in uh, Java using Eclipse.